Back to Scott Walker. He wants to he wants to humiliate people who are down on their luck. After talking about how he came from humble beginnings, he's gonna he's gonna talk about and people who come from humble beginnings deserve to be humiliated because they don't have billionaires backing them and and they're not big shots. Here he is. And now, as of the budget I just signed, we make the same requirement to make sure people can pass a drug test yeah. before they get a welfare check. People can pass a drug test before they can get welfare benefits. Right. And everybody, oh, yeah, screw those poor people. Shame them. Yes, shame them. How dare they be out of work? Right. This is, you know, I'm telling you, the, the, this is the guy who's going to be the Republican nominee for president this year, next year. And he may well be our next president. I see in Scott Walker, Richard Nixon's mentality and and Ronald Reagan's policies. Richard Nixon, at least, was not a right-wing hack. Richard Nixon was, I mean, he was Eisenhower's vice president. He was to the right of Eisenhower, but he was Eisenhower's vice president. That was, he, you know, he, he, he didn't try to overturn the New Deal. He didn't try to do away with uh, unemployment benefits or do away with the minimum wage or cut Social Security or privatize it or, you know, you know he, uh, do away with, I mean, he, none of that stuff. Anyhow, here's this is the, this this whole comp. Now we get to the Republican meme that freedom means sorry, buddy, you're on your own. You know the old Alan Grayson. Uh, here's the Republican health care plan. Um, number one, don't get sick. Number two, if you do get sick, die quickly. Here's Scott Walker talking about that. You see, that's freedom. The kind of freedom that's the cornerstone of the American dream. And so we've got a plan to help more people live that dream. A plan that will help more people create more jobs and higher wages. And you know what it starts with? We need to repeal Obamacare once and for all. Hey, to hell with those people who can't afford health insurance. Just let them die, right? They, they were stupid enough to get, to, get, to get sick in the first place. And then this is, uh, this is pretty amazing. This, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I want to riff on this a little bit more. This uh, Clip 22, uh, Shane, play this, please. We need to build the economy from the ground up in a way that's new and fresh, organic and dynamic that says, as long as you don't violate the health and safety of your neighbor, go out and start your own career, build your own business, live your own life. See, now, as long as you don't violate the health and safety of your neighbor, this what he's talking to is the core libertarian talking point that informed the Lochner court in 1905 when the Supreme Court in the Lochner case, this was a case of, of bakers in, in New York. New York had a law that said that if you, that a baker can't work more than 10 hours a day, or if they do, you have to pay them overtime or something to that effect. And the court struck it down, saying it is not the business of government to protect workers. It is only the business of government to protect the health and safety of its people. So it's okay to have, uh, you know, a Department of Agriculture, you know, that inspects food, and it's okay to have a, an army and a police department, but it's not okay to get involved in private contract uh, negotiations between workers and employees. This is the most fundamentalist of the libertarian ideas, and he makes it sound so appealing. Oh, yeah, if you don't violate the health and safety of your neighbors, if that's the criteria... Then Scott Walker is saying, do away with Social Security, do away with Medicare, do away with Medicaid, do away with unemployment insurance, all those things the government does that have nothing to do with health and safety, that have to do with quality of life. 